It's funny, you know, me and Gregor are from the Philadelphia area, so one of my favorite movies is Rocky. And, and in the original Rocky movie, one of the exercises that he does with the dumbbells is he's, he goes like this. And for the longest time, as a, you know, you know, a 15-year-old, I was practicing that same movement. And I, once I, you know, did some actually more research, that movement is a terrible movement to do. So if you're doing any exercises <laughs> by Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone, don't do them because he's doing improper form. Hey, Sylvester, if you're coming after him. <laughs> hey. Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. And today I'm here with... Mike Kakavecchia. And we're at the Power Build Gym outside of Philadelphia in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. And we are going to do the second in a series of our full body workouts. And today's workout will be... Pull day. Stay tuned. So hopefully you saw this last video. Um, the, the link is down below and that was for a push day. Just briefly tell us, Mike, what the push day was. Sure, so that consisted of all kind of pushing movements. Um, so we focused on our chest, our front deltoid, and our triceps. And today will be the pull. The pull day. The three exercises that are part of the um, of this series would be the push, which we did before. Today's will be the pull, and there is a third installment, which will be legs. Oh. So tell us. Uh, <laughs> so tell us what we're going to be doing today. Sure. So we are going to be doing uh, six or seven total exercises. Um, we're first going to focus on our back. At, so we're going to do three back exercises. Then we're going to focus on our side delt, and then we're going to focus on our rear delt, and then finish off with some bro biceps. <laughs> Yo. You're actually gonna see where the series name comes in, doing a pull routine, and all of these exercises, especially when we do back and doing shoulders, will involve some type of pulling motion. And actually a little, um, actually it's apparent even on the biceps exercises, which you will see. So, you ready to do this? I can't wait. The first exercise we're gonna do is the lat pull down. Um, now there's a ton of different variations we can do for lat pull down, uh, but for today, we're just gonna keep it simple and we're gonna do the, the wide lat pull down. And what this is going to do is this is going to help us uh, build our lats up. So it's going to help us be a little bit more wide. Um, so what we're going to do, since this is our first exercise, we're going to do two warm-up sets just to make sure our muscles are nice and warmed up. And then we're going to do three working sets. Um, so just a little quick uh, technique tip. Um, when we're doing this, we really want to, when we bring it down, we want to bring it to the, the mid to upper chest. Um, we don't want to bring it lower than that because that will um, bring in the, the, the delts and we don't, want to, we don't want to do that. We want to focus solely on the lat muscles um, and when we bring it down, we want to pretend like you're bringing your elbows into your back pockets um, and that will really engage the lats more because um, then that's what we're going for with this exercise. So we talked about the V taper. So you're looking to get wide top into the back as if a V. So this is you know, it's a great look generally, but also looks really good in clothes. And um, all of this also, back is important to posture. So you want to stay upright as you get older. Yep. <laughs> so having balanced uh, definition between your back and your chest will actually help you to stand more erect, have better posture, and it's just better for aging. Yep, exactly. Perfect. And when it comes to back, there's two different types of uh, movements you can do. The first movement is any kind of pull down movement, and that's going to really engage the lats. And then there, uh, I guess in layman's terms, there's a pull back movement, and that's gonna help thicken up the back. Um, and a lot of beginners, they don't really like to train their back too much because you really can't see those muscles. Um, so they really focus on the chest more. But in order to you know, make that well-rounded physique. It's, it's really, really beneficial to, to work the back muscles as well. Um, and I know that one of, the, one of the biggest concerns is how to make your waist smaller. Uh, a lot of people always ask me that question. Well, you, what you can do is make your, make your back and your shoulders bigger, and that will show off, give the illusion of having a smaller waist. See, bodybuilding is- Be safer. Yep, exactly, one big illusion. So that's what we're working on today. <laughs> it's all illusion? <laughs> all illusion. None of this is real? <laughs> Okay, so this next exercise is the, the hammer row. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus more on the upper back. Um, and, you know, a lot, of, a lot of gyms may not have this machine. Um, so a good variation of this is the, the dumbbell row. 
Um, but since we have this machine, it's a really great machine, so we're going to utilize it here today. Um, so what Greg's gonna do is he's going to come out here, he's gonna come out here wide, and he's gonna bring it back, and that's going to focus on the upper chest. Upper and now we're chest? I'm sorry, the upper back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking of push day. <laughs> Now the key to this exercise is keeping your elbow, keeping your elbow in as much as possible. If it flares out too much, that's when again shoulders will come into play and rear delt. Right now we want to focus on the upper back. So keep that elbow, keep that elbow pinned in. So this is exactly what we're going for right here. That's the muscle we're building right there. So you want a big stretch at the bottom, keep your chest on this on the uh, bench at all times, and then back. Three, again, eight to 10 reps. Four, five, six. All right, so this is our last set, and um, something that I, I learned from Steve Cook, who's a Gymshark uh, athlete uh, and also a YouTuber. <laughs> he always says, his, his saying is, last set, best set. And what that means is, even though it's your last set, you want to make sure you give it your all. And that's something I And, and I didn't, just yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that's really stuck with me over the years, um, so that's really what I try to, try to do each, each, each workout. Etiquette at the gym, uh, you actually want to take the weights off. Because, <laughs> you know, if you are a uh, person, someone who works out light, and you come up to the, um, the rack and you see it has four or five plates on it, it's just like, yeah, it's just rude. I've noticed that on the leg press a lot too, which yeah. is, it's always a pain in the butt. Yeah. So this final exercise is going to be a cable V-bar row for the lower back. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, Greg, Greg's going to demonstrate right now for us. So you're gonna put your feet up on there. So Greg's gonna give a big stretch at the bottom and then we're gonna pull it to the belly button. So that's really gonna work the, the lower back. So the second exercise, we worked the upper back. Now we're gonna finish with the lower back. Come on, good gym face. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So you want to um, have the, the weight pull you in so you don't, so you want to have your arms extended all the way and then your back come forward a tiny bit. And then when you come back, you don't want to, you don't want to come back too far. You just want to come just like that and bring it right to the belly button. And you want to make sure that you're focusing on your back muscles, not your biceps or your forearms. Sometimes during back exercises, your biceps and forearms really come into play. Um, you want to pretend, you want to make sure that you're treating your arms almost as, as hooks um, that are pulling in the, with the back muscles. A lot of people get frustrated working out at the gym. They're like, this exercise doesn't simulate anything you do in life. <laughs> you know, some people are like, why, why, why do I have to work out? I'm just gonna do my, you know, it's not like you work on a farm anymore and you can lift bales of hay and get your exercise. Most people have sedentary lifestyles that afford you no opportunity to actually do any kind of physical exercise. What I love about the, the low cable roll. This actually simulates rowing. So our own Eric Van Holtz, which you see here, um, is a rower. And this movement actually is really good and is a training exercise for people who actually do functional rowing in a boat. It's also good if you're a kayaker. <sighs> Five, halfway there. Five, six. <laughs> <laughs> So back's done for the day. Now we're done. Now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move over to, the, over to the dumbbell racks. What we're gonna focus on now is the, the side delt raise and working on the, the side and rear delts, um, a lot of people uh, tend to neglect, um, but 
focusing on the side of your delt, it's really going to help um, give you that 3D shape to your, to your shoulder. It's really going to cap your shoulders off. Um, so like we said in the beginning, we want a big back and big shoulders in order to make the waist look a, a bit more small and the, working the side delt and rear delt is really going to help with that. Yeah. The delts also really, the, think of the top of the V as the broadest point of the V going down to the narrowest part and then the waist. The lats are somewhere in the middle, your shoulders are on the top. And so the wider those get, the more narrow your waist is going to get. Yep. So we're going to do side delt first. Side delt, okay. Yep. Um, so the, the best way somebody taught me how to do this is to, when you're coming up, you want to focus on your elbow and you almost want to pretend like you're pouring out a pitcher of water. So just like that. Yep. So you don't want to, you don't want to focus on your wrist. You don't want to go like this. You want to make sure that you're coming up with your elbows. I had a ro rope torn rotator cuff. Um, last, uh, I think uh, maybe June, took a good three or four months to bring me back to some functional use at the gym. And um, I'm actually just to the point where sometimes I don't even think about it anymore. So I, I would awesome. say I'm 95 plus Perfect. So that percent recovered. Yeah. Um, so um, there are certain exercises and it's not so much these, it's actually bench press that hurts my shoulder. Gotcha. Okay. So it's not even shoulder press. I've realized it was shoulder press if I'd move my grip in a little bit doesn't aggravate my shoulder, but bench press, it's really hard to move your arms in too much. I mean, it turns into a tricep exercise. Yep. Um, so I just watch it. And that's one thing that you have to do. It's like, you have to read what your body is telling you to do and obey it. Some people push through injuries, not always the best idea. Yes, you can, you want to work. Part of like getting better if you have an injury is actually building muscle and it takes a little tear down to actually build, but some people just go too far. So you have to listen to your body. Um, doing face pulls, I've seen some guys do them lower, some guys mm -hmm. medium, some guys do them high. So, so, so the best advice I've received is to match it up with, with wherever your face is at. So that way you're not, you know, you're not coming up, you're not coming down, just straight forward. Um, and uh, technique for this exercise. I.e. the face pull. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, excellent, you know, example of we're doing a pulling exercise. Yep. And this one. Um, Tells you what it is, it's the yep. face pull. And this, it's pretty self-explanatory as Greg mentioned. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to just pull this right to our nose mouth area. And this is going to work the, the rear delt. And this is what we're focusing on right now, right, right there. We'll see who wins the curl war. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Still light. Still light? Oh, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish up this pool day with two bicep exercises. Um, as part of the routine, we're trying to keep it to six, so you can actually finish this with one bicep exercise. We're going to show you two, so you can actually choose to do two. Uh, an alternate is maybe pulling out one of the back. So if you want to keep it to six, um, we're actually timing this workout. It's fitting into an hour. So, um, and that's, you know, with a little banter. So it's actually probably a 55, 50 minute exercise, which is uh, quite doable if you're, so if you're doing this um, as part of a push pull leg day and hitting those up to two times a week, um, you know, can, you can be in and out of the gym in about five hours a week. So, um, uh, a good investment of your time uh, for the benefits you you will get from feeling better, looking better. So if you remember from our first video, this is really about looks, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also about health and fitness and posture. And you know, there's a, there's a ton of data that says that working out and doing these weight bearing exercises has benefits way beyond looking good. You know, like I touched on it before in terms of posture. You actually sleep better, you eat better. There are so many benefits from actually doing weight bearing exercise. You gotta be doing it, guys. I, we really like this machine because <clears throat> it puts the the arms in a stationary position. So there's no room for cheating. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to make sure we have a good stretch in our arms and we're, we, uh, we, at, we lower the seat to make sure we have a good stretch. And then we're just going to simply come up.
looks like. <laughs> You got 10? I got 10. 11. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Oh, I'm gonna do 10 again. Oh. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that me and Greg, uh, you know, we're, we're definitely fatigued at this point right now. Um, <clears throat> this weight, uh, on, a, on a normal day, coming in fresh, this would be pretty, pretty light. But since this is our, one of our last exercises, um, very fatigued right now, but the name of the game in bodybuilding is, is failing. So it is totally okay to fail. Um, I try to, especially on my last work, the, my last exercises, I try mm -hmm. to go to failure. I will try to pump as much blood in the muscles as possible. And that just overall just uh, gives me a, a great pump uh, leaving the gym. So it's totally okay to fail, just as you saw me and Greg do. Um, we didn't. We just got to about the 10 rep range, so uh, we got one more set. So we'll, we'll take a take a couple extra seconds for in between yep. this set. It also tells you that okay, that felt like we heavy because we were also not waiting a long time in between sets. So even if you waited 30 extra seconds, that might feel better lighter. Yeah. And so it's really listening to your body again, knowing like, hey, I got to slow down a little bit. Not slowing down so much that you can watch a whole Netflix movie, <laughs> but slowing down enough to just recoup a little bit. You find that that might feel lighter if you wait just a little longer. Do you want to talk some more so I can wait? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Breathe, uh, breathe, man. <sighs> How many? How many? Two more. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on, you got it. Last one. Get it all. all. Beautiful. Woo. How many is that? Seven. Come on. Eight. Two more. At least two more. Come on. I'm not I got getting you. it to the top. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we doing now? So the uh, last exercise we're doing for the day is hammer curls. Um, so the movement is named hammer because we're gonna, we come up like this, almost like you're pounding a hammer. Um, so in, you know, instead of doing a normal bicep curl where we have the, the palms facing forward like this, we're going to bring the palms in like that and you'll actually see the bicep change. Um, so at the forearms will come into play a bit more. Um, and instead of working the, the inner bicep, this is also gonna help the outer bicep. So again, you'll see my, how my bicep changes when I move my hand from this way to this way. Um, so for our, since this is our last exercise, we're going to not even do a warm up. Our biceps are already ready to go. So we're gonna just do three, uh, three working sets, um, 10 to 12 reps, and, and we'll call it a day. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Once again, there are certain exercises that are easier for some people. So I said, let's finish with something where Greg's going to shine. Yes. <laughs> Two. Three, four, five, six, come on, seven, don't rock, eight, <laughs> nine, you got ten? Yep. Ten. Oh. Oh. Woo. I'm gonna sleep right here. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> I feel good though. I feel really good. Woo. And that's pool day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, that was actually a pretty intense workout. Mm -hmm. um, the workout intensity is really a function of how hard you are working, how quickly you are working, and actually what you are working. So, um, do you feel like you were you worked out well today? I do, and I would uh, I would consider this more of a, almost a beginner workout. If you are a more experienced lifter, you can definitely, um, as Greg mentioned before, you can add either some more back exercises, you can add some more bicep exercises. So, um, 
but <laughs> I'm still taxed right now. So I thought that was a pretty solid workout overall. So the whole series was the push-pull leg, which will get your whole body done. Uh, as we said in the first video, you could actually just do an arm day where you're doing biceps and triceps. You can do a chest by day, you can do a chest try day, you can do a shoulder try. I mean, there's a gazillion possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, the beauty of a push-pull push leg is that you can keep it organized in your head and it's just like, hey, it's pull day, I do these exercises. Yeah. So it's a great way to start on the fitness uh, journey and, and to get that um, muscle bearing exercise, which we talked about how important that is. Yeah. So next we will be doing leg day, <laughs> which I am not looking forward to. This guy has fantastic uh, wheels down below here. I do not, I am um, not looking forward to this, <laughs> but we'll, we'll talk about that yep. in installment three. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so uh, comment below if you're keeping up with your new year's resolution. Yeah, we want to know if you've actually incorporated any of the uh, exercises that we talked about in the push routine. Hopefully you can incorporate some of these pull movements and we'll get to legs and you can do a full body routine. And uh, to your fitness, we want to encourage you to get moving and to do those exercises. All the benefits that we talked about before, they're all yours to be had. Just have to get to the gym and to do them. So until we meet again. Woo! Enjoy that video? Well... Go ahead, treat yourself to beard oil. We got a new formulation, new packaging, and a new price. Head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself, my friends.